Well, there we are. Good morning to you all. Cornishman Day. I don't know what the weather is going to be like today, but I mean, we haven't been very good at all. I've been blown all the half of my apples have come off my apple trees, but there we are. I still haven't, haven't had a chance to cut the grass, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. I hope everybody's happy, staying safe. And now we've got a few birthdays today. Alice did. Alex Joseph's birthday was yesterday from Mount Bristol, and I give him and uh, congratulations on his first class honours degree in his uh, chosen subject up there in Bristol. Well done to you, Pard. Now, uh, tomorrow is Al Alistair Beasley's tomorrow is his birthday, a uh, friend of mine. So, uh, happy birthday tomorrow. Now, today is Alan Churcher, is his birthday today. Julie Wheeler is her birthday. And our great friend Wendy Kernow is her birthday as well. So all of you all have a lovely birthday today and yesterday and tomorrow. I just hope everybody's all right. Keep smiling, that's all I can say. We'll have a bit of summer sometime. Now, this one's called No Flies on Jack. Cousin Jack was out leaning upon his farm gate one day after dinner. He was feeling at peace with the world and thanking the Lord for all his benefits. At past he was some handsome, he says to himself. I'd have reckoned my auntie's the best pasty maker in the West, bless her little heart. And they and some cows out in other field, chewing their cud, is looking as contented as I'm feeling right now. Then Jack spied two young men coming through the gate of the next field and on to the road towards them. They see the two and started to grizzle. Now Jack got two good ears and he heard one say something about local yokels to the other. Still, grizzling. Here comes trouble, says Jack to himself. For all their education and knowledge, they haven't got sense enough to close the gate after them. I shall have to go down there quick, or my cows will be all over the road directly. Just as he took his foot off the bottom rung of the gate, one of the chaps called out to an I say, old chap, have you seen a wagon load of monkeys pass this way? Jack turned round slow like, and looked upon their new shirts and walking sticks, and he says, No, my son, I haven't I haven't been here more than a minute, and haven't seen no wagon load of monkers. But however did the two of you come to fall often? Other one's called Pension Day. My life, Annie, what's it like up here in Four Street, eh? St. Just Rose was never built for this year traffic, was it, yo? We used to be a nice, quiet little mining town here one time, didn't us? We never used to see nothing more than a bike, ass, and a horse and cart when we was young, did us? Except the gentry had a pony and jingle now and again. My old granny used to go from Zenz on Arkles's buses. Always room for one more up top, she'd say. That was all right when they was going on the level, but the poor old horses couldn't pull them all the way up, going up hill, so some of them had to get off to walk then. Nicky laughed, didn't it? My old grandfather used to mount his horse from the top of they there steps in front of the star in there. Look out, mate, here comes another stream of them coming through here. Make your head like when all the cars here whizzing past you like mess things, don't it? It's bad enough any time, but all of the times you'll take your life in your hands to go up town, save for a bit something to eat. I know up country people want a bit of holiday, and you can't blame them for coming down here, see what they their brochures to call the river area of England. Mind yourself, Mansum. He was a get long lorries coming this way. We shall be gone before we get chance to pick up our pension if we don't look sharp. Take fast my arm, old booty. They sure went and knocked down two of us together. Oh, was that waving of us. You can't see nobody's face in a car, can he? Look, there's Jimmy Raw coming this way. She's going abroad a bit too, like we, ain't she? Look out, here's another car coming with a sticker on saying the Cornishman will do it directly. I bless those true too. And then villains just just so knacky down as look upon he. Come as on, Med, leave us go, go in the tea shop here for a bit of sit down. My old legs ain't worth two cracked candles, day. I'm checking for a cup of tea. You going through with the next social club next week, are we? We shall be part of the traffic ourselves that day, shan't us? Now have a nice weekend. Take care.